Well, I interviewed Jalen Rose. Oh, yeah. I love Jalen. Spoke very highly of you. Yeah, I've been with Jalen since high school. But he has some interesting words really? about your opinion. I will go ahead and play it for you. Well, Michael Jordan, to the whole world, was considered the greatest of all time. Yes. But not in Detroit. Correct. <laughs> That's true. So when you got to play Michael And slightly Jordan, Indiana, too. Okay. Those two places will boo Michael Jordan. Right. Because they love their team so much and bow down to his greatness, obviously. So you got to play him on a number of occasions. Yes. You dunked on him? I dunked while he was in the vicinity. Okay, not on him directly. I didn't physically do him like he went baseline and did Patrick Ewing. <laughs> right. Or nothing like that. And plus, I couldn't jump. But imagine just being a guy growing up in Detroit, and you pointed to something that's really important. The bad boys represented the city. And so I remember like seeing people like, you wearing Jordans? To the point where we would clown people for rocking Jordans. And then Uncle Chuck was like, I like Nike, but wait a minute. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm done for sure now. For sure. And so our bad boys let, let, let Mike and them have it now. Don't sleep. We had our years where we beat Magic Bird and Jordan. And won back-to-back -back championships. So being on the floor with the GOAT, especially his final year, playing against them in the Game 7 at the United Center, we up double digits in the second quarter. Oh, we had him. And then all of a sudden he turned into the Black Cat and Scottie Pippen started stealing the ball from us and Dennis Rodman started grabbing every rebound. Like, that's the greatest team of all time. Hands down. Hands down. Yeah. And it's not necessarily about who starts the game in the NBA, if you watch. It's who finishes the game. I said that. Okay. And in the era of positionless basketball, they had Tony Kukoc, the waiter, who was 6'10", dribble pass and shoot, make threes, a Hall of Famer. No, I think Tony Kukoc is, he, yeah, he in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Dennis Rodman, the greatest defender and, and rebounder that's not a center ever. Scottie Pippen, one of the top 50 players of all time, one of the greatest defenders of all time. And they got the GOAT, Michael Jordan. And I got to throw a name out here that people keep sleeping on. Y'all folks better Google Ron Harper, please. I, I, I don't understand why he, before Harp got hurt, he played with the Cavs. <laughs> he hurt his knee. He was about to be on track to be in the Jordan conversation. Mm -hmm. They had him playing with them. And so, uh, yeah, with Phil on the sideline, that squad right there. Right, because because John Sally told me that, you know, and he's played, you know, with Jordan and Pippen. He said that Pippen's actually a better player than Jordan. See, the, the funny thing is, I think Scotty is more skilled than all of them. Scotty Pippen is probably the most skilled player I've ever played with. Really? Yeah. And his hands come to his shit. <laughs> okay, standing straight up. We got a drug test, John. <laughs> and that's my big brother. He smokes a lot of weed. I so know he you, does. You I that, know he you does. Failed that drug I, test. I remember when John came to the city and he bought the big mansion. I got a chance to go over there and everything. That's my big brother in the game. He helped put me on at the best damn sports show in Fox. I got a chance to work with him for years. He vegan now. And so I understand where he's coming from. He's a very knowledgeable individual with the game. But you know what that is? I'm going to tell you what that is. I know what that is. What is it? Deep down in his heart, you ask him, what team do you identify with the most in your career, Sal? Bad boys. He's going to be like, the bad boys. <laughs> so it's only right for him to feel like that, MJ. He uh, can't help it. I, I, he can't help it. Well, he said that he's the most skilled player he's ever played. MJ is? Played with. No, Pippen. Yeah, I'm looking at this clip right now. John Sally said, Pippen, not Jordan, is the most skilled player I've ever played with. Sal needs to be drug tested. <laughs> Sal, in his heart of hearts, can't believe that. And I'm going to tell you why. And again, that's my big brother. As a youngster in Detroit, when he was on the team, like, come on. Him, Isaiah, Vinny, Joe, like, we got you. Mahorn, I'm little bro to them. 
Same thing in the media. He brought me on. I'm little bro. But he tripping. <laughs> and it's because he's a member of the Bad Boys. And he elbowed Scottie Pippen. And he got a migraine and he won the series. He elbowed Michael Jordan and ended up going to win championships with him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. This, there we go. There we go. Jalen Rose laid it all out. And he's 100% right. He's 100% right. Because, to give you an example, when I went to, to play with the Lakers, my brother called and I said, yeah, I'm, I'm on the squad. Because they had me going against Benoit Benjamin, but then they decided they were going to go with me. And he goes, you going to wear a yellow uniform? I, that's the first thing my brother asked me. Because in our brain, we're trained uh, like a like you're supposed to be, like a predator. I, I don't like the yellow jersey. And the red and that white has to literally get a, get a bullet. And the green and the white, I mean, that's how we looked at them. We didn't look at them like, oh, these are the great Celtics of the past. Who was ever wearing that color... It was like Predator. I mean, like uh, Jurassic Park, the last one. You put the laser on it, I'm going to destroy that laser. Okay. But now going back, so in my heart of hearts, I am a bad boy mm -hmm. through and through. I played everywhere else, but I'm a piston. Skilled? Oh, man. See, the deal was we had Jordan rules. So we abide by the rules. We were able to not contain Michael but to literally focus and get them to realize we're, can, we're on focus on this. Scotty being the point guard, Isaiah can't. He back Isaiah down. Joe is guarding Michael. Who going to guard Scotty? <laughs> Dennis? So you put Dennis out there on Scotty. Who's going to rebound now? Like Bill and Bear had to try to keep up with Horace, or if he has to play against Cartwright, Horace, like, they had so many things that we had to do, and then they had the triangle. And Scotty figured out how to manipulate. Scotty, one year, we find out something about Scotty in a game seven, and we pound it. Scotty comes up with a migraine. Because in our brain, we realize if we shut down Scotty, team's not going to work. And we were right. We shut down Scotty. We got Jordan rules, but we need to we need to eliminate this person without having the purple gang from Detroit <laughs> pick him up six o'clock in the morning and not let him show up to the bus. We need to do besides that, we need to shut down Scotty. And then the next year, we couldn't shut down Scotty. And that's 91, 92, 93. And Michael leaves and goes on his sabbatical. Scotty has probably the best season of his life with Tony Kuko, but not mature enough to realize what the situation was. Didn't, he didn't mentally adjust quick enough. But he had a, had a great season. And that one flob of I'm not going back in is one mistake, but it's a highlight for uh, Tony's life, hitting the buzzer, buzzer beater. So it's a difference. But in skill, man, this, this guy was amazing at the skill of basketball. Okay, but Jalen Rose is saying the reason you're saying that is because, uh, because you're a you bad boy. Jalen is right, and, 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 and Jalen is right. Okay, Jalen is right. You just, I just, I, 